Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, as the regular season is officially complete. And now, we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next, after this. And we're back for it again. It's game three, as we're ready to move things on to the next part. Yeah, that's right, because we have already finished two games here from the fourth seed home and from the other seeds that are a higher ranking home, but now the lower seeds, their turns for their home. Yeah, that's right. We've also got a great match up here, starting off with those two, as Jazz extend the lead by 2-0. Now they're home playing against Dallas Mavericks here at the Vivint Smart Home Arena. And that is totally correct. We're going to see who wins the third game. It is in between the Mavericks or the Jazz. Let's head you off to Utah for the third game. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. And check out the Mavs. Fashion first, getting off the bus, and now they'll try to make the same impression on the court. Going after this win on the road. Two losses in a streak, but now they meet again. Donovan and Luca. A beautiful, dramatic setting here in Salt Lake City, Utah becomes apparent when you get a look at the aerial shot of the surroundings. Welcome, everybody. Thanks and this is now here. Team played here at the Vivint Smart Home Arena. It's the third game of the season of the postseason of the playoffs. And right now, sideline is David Aldrich. Looking at the starting right now, Dorian Finney Smith is happening 47 percentage, 60 effort, and last five games only 64 was being put up a best record so far with 85 effort in the game. But I think he might do it even more better. Now let's tap to David. Thank you, Kevin. Utah's Quinn Snyder is an elite coach. He says it's rewarding to be a part of a group that's bigger than a coach or a player. That connectivity. Guys have found things for themselves within the team, and that's how we play. Everybody's getting something out of it, but also selflessly contributing. Kevin? What a great philosophy. Great for thing. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome teams, awesome fans are ready to go for jazz time. The starting lineups are on the board. And a key matchup is in between Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brunson. Plus, we have a head coach here, Jason the Kid. This is his fourth season with the Dallas Gap Mavericks and Quinn Snyder on the other hand. Yeah, of course, they definitely did great. I'm pretty sure that this will be his fifth season for next season if he could do it again. The Jazz wins the tip-off, and we are underway here in Utah. All fueled up and ready to go. Starting with the group right now is O'Neal. He has played some couple games here so far after playing with the first and second game. But now it is time to step into the third game. Of course, we have always got a lot of, lot of things to do. You know that uh, uh, Boyce O'Neill has done a better performing out there for the last couple games. It was all on him that he had played here before. Now, this might be another one to get by. Donkic, right on Conley. With a solid D, he goes up. And the first shot can't make it. It's Gobert with the block. Rudy Gobert has got his first good uh, defense out here. Might be going for another one. And it's Big Donovan picking up a bucket here. And a first bucket and two points lead up here for 4 to 0. And now Vinny Smith gets his, uh, gets his layup in as, as Dorian Vinny Smith has his first points of the game. Dorian Finney-Smith, he really has gotten a much, much better here with some appreciation here so far. But not too much to effort here. It might be very hard, but you are looking for. Now he goes over to Conley. Fades. Finds Gobert. Gobert, a little off the angle here, but he holds on tight. What a nice shot. Even if you expected what's, what's going to come out, I always know that this player has it all. 
Donkic finds Powell. Now he goes over to Donkic. He goes up at the alley -oop and Bullock takes the, takes the paint in as Luka Donkic takes the first assist. Another assist here is going up on a better successful play on the alley -oop drive. That might be the only way to keep an eye on him. But that may be very tough to beat Crudel. Bogdanovich with the shot, whisked off the target. Just 2.45 remaining here in the first period. And going in, oh, watch out! Luka Doncic is slamming a donkey in this run, and he's tied up now. Tied up is not going to be able to make it score even much better, but you got to go right into the lane. You just got to be ready here and, and be there tight. Mitchell up. His shot's good. Mitchell has his first bucket in the game. At home, it was pushed up a better pacing here. 25.1, four rebounds, and just 1.5 1 in, in the spruce time. Mitchell against Brunson. We are on to two minutes to play in the fir first period of the game. Two on one attack. But Donovan slams the dunk, and it's Rudy Gobert with the assist. Great, great communication out here for Rudy Gobert. He's just gotten a good one so far. The first timeout is called by Dallas with a minute and 46 remaining. They got a great start here for the for the first driving ever in a range. Yeah, I know. With the best how, how they get there, they really wanted to get this thing right along. And I think that we might be going for another idea to give that one a look. Changes here for Dallas Mavericks as will be Kleba checking in the game for Powell. Now here's Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie scores the drive as this will be trailing by two. Spencer Dinwiddie has gotten a, got a good use of it from his skill. Step in drive and also uh, taking the finishing lane of the corner. Bashal the gate. Right over a head pass, and Gobert makes a drive, and it's gay with the assist. Rudy Gobert with the second bucket of the game. Always know that it comes up here much, much better. Runs it to Kleba. Kleba, right on Gobert. Dinwiddie with the ball. Moving in paint. Brown for two, and it's in and out. Gay with the ball. Now he rolls over to go to Gobert. Almost losing the ball, but he gets the tight to go. A shot right to Gay. Back over is Mitchell. Screen for Gobert. Drive in. Shot's good. That is a number two for Donovan Mitchell. 14 to 8. Dallas trailing by six. Dinwiddie on Mitchell. Holding the pressure here, Brown for three. That's good, that will be in the range for trailing by three. That's a lot of a hustling move out there. It may be very tough for them, but now they need to get right into it. Clarkson right over to Mitchell. Back an overpass by Clarkson. Bates, nine seconds. Clarkson, up. Oh, he makes a shot. That's the first bucket for Clarkson. And a Mitchell with the assist. Dinwiddie. No long move. Will he get it? No, that's it. The first quarter is ended. Great start here for, for the Utah Jazz to pick up for the third game. And I think there might be good players to hear play on defense and offense. It's a great scoring combination, but we'll be right back after this. 16-11 to score. Dallas trailing by five. Told me to come here be myself, playing free with a free mind, and you know, trying to help us get wins. It's great to see that he is excelling from the coach of Quinn Snyder for Jordan Clarkson, and for his amazing part of his game, he knows that he could definitely try to make a six man get even better. Of course, you know that's what because of Jordan Clarkson he has gotten a much better uh, 
much better player than he has ever done before. But now, he might be going for another charge. Time to take the run. After play facing up with a lot of uh, rebounding in this game, I think there might be a solution in for him to keep an eyes on. Clarkson in the drive, what a play! And that's a second bucket from Jordan Clarkson. What a nice drive here. Amazing pressure to make it here, uh, an outstanding run. But now, I know that they're all trying to look forward into it without being banned attack. Her time's getting into the lane and trying to walk around it without being pulled out of bounds at the, on the sideline. Jazz lead by two. Alexander Walker dish off to Gay. And now the screen. Right side, inside the paint. Great pass by Gay. Gay's got a great struggle out there, but also noticing that he's way open right down there with an overhead pass. White side with the uh, first bucket of the game, and the timeout has been called by Dallas. Just 3.51 to go. It is coming down here quick. 20 to 16. Uh, that's like my favorite year. Your favorite year? <laughs> I, I, what's your uh, favorite year here so far? The Rio 2016 one. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, it would be uh, something exactly I've never seen it before. Also, turning out to be just one player, isn't it, everybody? I know that one. It's a lot of great strength out there. Always know that one here. Of course, we have a one block and one steal. That was their uh, change up here for the for the Jazz to pick up here for the first time since they already lost in the second round against the Clippers. It was very hard for them, but it might be a hard, better chance if they could try to sneak them up again. Well, we'll see what they can do. There might be some choice out there, but you'll never know when to come by. Now Donkic against Walker. He backs off to Vinny Smith. Back to Powell, back to Dean Whitty. The screen has been rejected. Dinwiddie, Finney Smith for three. That's good. That will be a number three pointer for Dallas. There are a lot of three pointers out there. Of course, Luka Doncic has got another chance to try to uh, make it a close game in the range. O'Neal for three. Good! That is a three point bucket score. Jazz taking a chance to hit the first three pointer in game three, and now they have it on the board. They definitely did. A lot of work out there, but they need to know that. Wow, Donkic, he goes right on backfire. Now this has turned out to be a close game. It's 23-22. O'Neal with the first bucket of three. And now it was Luka Donkic who had pulled out here before. I'm not sure who else is going to try to like pick things up a bit, but you might not know what comes up by. Walker off to Bogdanovich. In the side, the paint is good for Bogdanovich. That's a spurred bucket in his streak. Six points in the game. Nice work out there. Bogdanovich is looking out for his test timing to make up his run from the game. Dinwiddie finds Powell. Over Walker. And that's another two-pointer score here for Dallas. They are still getting close to the one-point leap trail to try to work their way around. They, of course they did, but they need to know what they can try to figure things out. If they want to get better at it, but you got to get right into it. Walker, O'Neal, finding over Conley is bad and pass and rejects his offer to the other way. Donkic slams down, went hard impact on the floor. And now they have the lead up by one. Of course, now that was talking. That was a lot of revenge out there with the skills. Now we need to know what they can do. McDonovich, right next to the corner. Back to O'Neal. Pass, back to Conley. We're on a move, oh man! But he may not be able to pick up a two-pointer. A lot of great move out there. He definitely did turn it around. That was very good. Dinwiddie makes a shot, and another timeout is being called on the court. This time, it's the Jazz. With a minute and 18 left to go, it's 28-25. Dallas leads by three. 
Not a jazz. They really need to talk things over a bit because the, all of a sudden they really need to get right in it. They don't have much time to get right into this game because you're not going to uh, succeed at through when you get right into the range. You're going to need to try to try to make your way through and then try to keep an eyes on the player to knock things down and then go right into it. That's what you need to do in order to get better at it. Of course, the new changes are being out here. Rudy Gobert is still out there. All five players are already back in the starting lineups. Conley right to Rudy Gobert. Back to Conley. Back to Gobert. They're around it. And Kleba got it back. What a great deep. Yeah, Maxi Kleba just always showed up by, but now from, the, from the time to time being passed by, it may be very tough for them to go right through it. Kleba for three. And Ritz B checks it off, and it's McDonovich with the ball. O'Neal inside. Oh, he took the dunk around it, around Dunkage, and they are back to trail up by one. They definitely did have that strength. But it looks like Jazz may be picking up the dunks here, and that might be another way to get there. And that is the offensive foul turned up around the other way. And one more mobile one block of Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert has got a, got a piece of it. He has that one in here. I'm pretty sure about he might go for another changeup. Sterling Brown and Jalen Brunson are checked in. Right now on the other hand is Conley. Conley right to Bogdanovich. Back over is Mitchell. They're trying to make a quick moves out here with under 20 seconds to remain in the first half of the period. Conley in the lead. Yes, sir, he just had it. And it's Rudy Gobert with the assist. Now they have that one up here by one. They're trying to, trying to stay alive. Donkic against Conley. Inside, gets it in there, and it's Donovich with another two. Conley with the lead, and it will not be in there in time as the first half is already closed. 30 to 29 is going to be a very tight game in between those players. Well, that's all we had. Let's send it down to David. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, coach, they came at you offensively. So, what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Uh, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. This is too easy. Got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be right back after this break, so don't go anywhere. Second half coming up after the break. All right. Now the guys are talking over. First half recap. The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even. They did give up a couple baskets more than they wanted to, and at the end of the period, were trailing by five points. They came together in the second period and managed to claw their way to a one-point lead. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your take on it? They've been knocking it down from three. You have to give the playmaker credit for consistently finding the open guy. And then, of course, the shooters have delivered. If they keep it up, they're going to be tough to beat. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? They ran it off very well in the first half. There were almost no four shots. It was good, smart basketball. The motion in their offense was terrific. They made those defenders work very hard. I like what I saw from them for the most part. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Take care, folks. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Take care, guys. Let's send you back on the court. Glad you're joining us here for today as we have the third quarter ready for action. It's 30 to 29. Always know that the player has already got made into the Euro League to step into the NBA career, Luka Doncic. Yeah, because of him that time, that was going to be his plan to make this for a goal. But for reaching out his effort, it can be a very this. Uh, it could be a very tough rebounding and trying to work on for the game. But now it may be very tough for them if he goes on the court to play with the other guys. 
And we start right now here in the third quarter. Let's get this thing fueled up and start the action. Rudy Gobert with the ball. As right now, Luka Doncic and the other, other players have it all the time. Entering today's game is a leadoff change for Rudy Gobert to try to work them on a run. Of course they did. I know that because of Rudy Gobert did. And now, I think it might be very tight for him to try to get right into it. And it could be a very tough one if they wanted to get right into it. Here's Donkic, following along with the personal foul on Bogdan Bogdanovic. Three-pointer, Donkic, another miss by Dallas Mavericks. Still in the lead, Conley right to Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic to Conley, with a step move around Donkic, and he gives up on the run. That's Donkic, another rebounding of the game effort. Over again to Gobert, and Gobert has the ball. Shooters can be very impossible to try to shoot it anywhere right down there. Whether it's in the paint, the wing, or or even probably there might be very, or, or even at the free throw line. Conley driving through the paint, and that's good. Now that now the team is cut down over by one point by Dallas. Mitchell on Brunson, screen on Dorian Finney-Smith. Brunson takes the dump. The timeout has been released here on Utah. Just 3.29 left. And those are, these, these are his defensive struggling on the breakdown. They need to try to work their way around and try to help them out get back and better. New changes are going to be released out here for offense. But because of the uh, players are not able to make a make a run out of it, it's very hard to try to try to get a, get around and go right through where they had it. I'm pretty sure that there there might be some other players that can be a little bit tar or hard to try to shoot it right. But we may not know what will happen. Some changes left here for Dallas and for the Utah Jazz. Pashal, he was checked in for he was checked in for O'Neal. Gay along with Jordan Clarkson. And our player as well has still stayed, stayed the same. Clarkson. Mitchell for three. Fires across. And he has it up by two. That is a one check for a heck of a shot here for Madonna Mitchell. How does this play work? It comes in just like you did. Again, the other side, no good. Luka Donkic only had one to make the step back three with a fade, and that was very hard for him to try to work this way, Ron, comparing it to real and the 2K sports. It is true, honestly, of my opinion, but it may be very tough for him to try to work her way around. Clarkson up on the ball. Get out of the way, but it won't be picked up here on Gobert. Donkic passes off the bullet. Gay on him. Pass back to Donkic. In the corner now. Donovich try. Donovan, I meant. The three is stepping back in, and now they're tied up by two. Not a three point chance here for Luka Donkic, but he's already on the two point line. That's very early. Finds Gay, and he stepped out of bounds. It will be turned over to Dallas Ball. That's the first turnover here on Utah. New changeup being released for Dallas. Dinwiddie, Brown, Bertans, and Kleba. Except now, it is only Brunson left. Brunson with the ball. Only scored just big, big wide on the range here. Kleba for three, in the lead, and he has it through all. Dallas lead by three. Now for Donovan Mitchell. Passes up to Gobert. Back to Pashkov. Back to Gobert. In the car, driving front, and he just got away from it. Rudy Gobert has six points in the game, and they are trying to answer back again. They did honestly did have another option. 
They really wanted to get this, get the players out of here. But they don't want the player to go right in with the, with the number attack and then go right through it at number two. They really got to stop the pressure. And he stepped out of bounds. It was being another turnover for Utah. It is now, now Dallas ball as Rudy Gobert checked out. Now Gil side, now uh, on white side is checked back in. He will have to see what he can do. He can try to work his way around. Now Brunson, a minute left to play in the third quarter. Clarkson on him. Brown on getting skay. Bertans against Pashdal. Dallas moving the ball around quick. Screen checked it off. And he just got back. He is cooking up a rug here so far. It really hurts their, it's their pressure if they wanted to get back into the game. That's very hard and trying to swoop things down. Okay, deep three. Rebounded by Whiteside. Whiteside has it all covered in here. He has it all alone. He's got the handle of it. Five on the shot clock. Pascal up. He got it. That will be his first bucket for Pascal in the second half of the game. Dinwiddie. Try to attack it on Mitchell. Tries again. Passes off to Brown. Brunson. Layup tried. No good. Clarkson. Lars Peter. And he can't make the shot. It's 41-38. The third quarter is done. But now the last quarter should be remaining in the books. If it's Dallas win or Utah extending 3-0. We'll be right back after this break. And a moment now to check out the State Farm Assist of a Game. I'm pretty sure that this was very tough and tense out there. But look at the stride here for our Dallas Mavericks. They have that alley group here. And for Bullock, he got it out here in front of the paint, trying to look forward from the handle. Now we have it up here in better shape. It looks like you're going to need to try to work that off with another changing zone in on the court. Conley right to O'Neal. As we start the fourth quarter, it will be the last one to take it all. Bogdanovich, nice D on, on uh, Bertans. Now Dinwiddie with the ball. Screen, not able to recover it. Finds for times. The Donovich on him. Rebound again. And he gets it back. That's for times with a number two. They really got nothing to say about that one, but they really got to get right back into it. O'Neal back to Bogdanovich. Back to O'Neal. White side with the screen. With a drive. That's good, O'Neal in a powerhouse. And it's now nine points of the game for, for Royce O'Neal. They're trailing by three. Dinwiddie with the ball. Bertans with the screen. Now he goes over to Kleba. Back to Bertans. Around Conley. Walked it up. Oh, it's Whiteside with the block. But Dinwiddie has a three-pointer, and it's extending it by six. Dinwiddie had the ball, but not bad for long. For Hassan Whiteside, he has that first three-pointer. I mean, first block of a game. Mitchell with nowhere look. He got it all. Donovan Mitchell is putting it back on the show, and they're back to trail up by three. Timeout call by Dallas with 3.19 left to go. 46-43 can be a little bit dangerous out there for those players if they want to get a little whack out of it. But no shooting foul has been released here for Dallas or Utah. Yeah, because of how playing this thing short, they know they did that. They really have it all. But that was a bit, a lot of a hard mistake if they really wanted to give this thing a, a better shot here. Not for everybody, but you know, it gets things a little bit worse. Now they really wanted to go right back into it and try to work it around. The 
some new changes here for Dallas and for Utah. Vinny Smith is checked back in for some, some Tom Brown. And another team is putting up another fight. Brunson, another three-point range. And they're, and they're getting away again. Up by six. Mitchell firing the corner. That's good! Another three-pointer for Mitchell. And they're rolling it back by three. They're going to need to try to work it around the run. We can't lose the man out there. Bullock misses the three. Mitchell comes in around the other way. O'Neal facing a pressure out there. Mitchell to tie it, but And it's rebounded by Vidonkic. Runs in with the ball. Now he rushes off to, to, to Donkic. Donkic in with the pursuit. Trying to work his way around attacker. And again, Vinny Smith with a drive, and it's Donkic with the assist. Donkic has already been showing him precisely good precision to take, and now he really have gone it up. Jump ball released on Gobert and Powell. Just 2.14 left, and one more block on white side. That's for the mobile one block. Excellent play. Right off the board, no goaltending. It looks like they really got on a swiped away. With the jump, it's Jazz with the win. McDonavich backing off to Conley. Now he rolls off to Gobert around Powell. And a shot has been cucking off. Two minutes to play in the fourth quarter for the third game of the playoffs. It's a lot of hard, hard hustling out there. Brunson again slams it down. And they are trying to get away. They really don't want to go up too lonely here, but they really have nowhere to go. Back to McDonavich. Right to Conley. Around inside. The drive is good. Conley has six points in the game. 139 left to play in the fourth quarter. Donkic against Conley. Pull it for three. Good! It's Donkic with the assist. And they are underway to take the, take the lead series here for game three. It's very hard. It looks like they're not ready to play to pick up the play out there. But that's all they have broke here, here, folks. It was nothing that they had. Madonavich up, two-pointer is good, and they're down by six. Madonavich only got eight, and definitely in the paint, too. But it looks like he might need to go for another changeup. Wow, Donkic is like on, on fire, on streak, and they are trying to upset them in game three. Kyrie answers back, and they're trying to pick him back up by six, but the time is quick ticking down. Donkic for three. Another miss by Luka Donkic and that streak is over. They're mixing in, in and out, but that won't be changed up with a lot of surprise moments. But Donkic, it's his turn to make the three. And that's Conley with the assist. Nice run. Always three-pointers are putting up the head. Donkic trying to work his hustle. The three-pointer will be reached. Double man. Runs it outside. And the reach and foul has been failed on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. That foul was giving him a pressure out there. His regular season was success, but the postseason was failed. Powell in the corner, driving up. No good. Rudy Gobert, but Donovich will have to call timeout here with just the 14.9 seconds. Jazz trailed by three, and they have that one timeout left for the Jazz and two more for Dallas. This was like a rough one. I thought this game was going to be like an ending game on the call, but that may be a very tough look on the angle. I don't know what to say, but this is like all they have done. Yeah. About uh, every questions, it was very hard for them to make them come back again. And then we will be heading off to the second 
the second game, but the first game part of the Eastern Conference, it will be another one to take from the exact same location that we already have seen in a regular season. The Nets and the Heat here at Brooklyn in the Barclays Center. And then back into the uh, Western Conference side, it is the Grizzlies and the Timberwolves. And then we will catch you back here for another, another chance here to go right into the layup, to go right from time to time. Time to present the New Balance player of the game, and this one goes out to just one. And that was the Euro League player, Luka Doncic. 14 points, 6 out of 14, not and just surprising at all. Mitchell, O'Neal, back to Mitchell, 10 seconds left. Finally, Mitchell to tie it. Rebound, going back again. Conley with the three. Yes, sir! What a show he puts a run and he goes to the other lane. We see that one. I know what you're thinking. We are going to overtime. It's underway next after this. 59 score, Dallas and Jazz. Be right back after this. Well, folks, the first overtime in Game 3 is happening here for tonight. Dallas and Jazz. This is going to be a lot of intensive here to work. Uh, let's get this thing on. Dallas wins the jump ball. We start in OT. Finney Smith against Bogdanovich. Back to Dunkic. Conley with the ball. Screen here on Powell. But it gets carried out. And it's taken off by Clemson. Rudy Gobert, three on one attack. O'Neal takes the lead. It's, it's a number one pointer for O'Neal, and he is all back alone. What a nice run. That's for him to make him sharp. Luka Doncic inside the paint, already got scored a drive, but he has a three point lead over Donovan Mitchell. Wow, did you see that? That was another turn to wrap around with the dunk. That was Royce O'Neal. Not to be confused about, but Shaq O'Neal just only just never gets things better. But that was only him for him in his time. As another three-pointer for release, timeout is called by Utah. 2.06 remaining, and this is like a better intense game here. We're in a fourth and fifth seed. Just like the last game, as we have we called it for the Bulls and the Sixers here in Game 2. That was a lot that hard, but they have already got been played without their dominated run to get right through it. It was very, not very tough, but I'm really sure that it gets things a little bit more average here that they had. I don't know what's it going to be, look like, but, well, we might have another chance out there. It might be getting a lot much better than the other teams they had. Back on the court right now, it will be Clarkson with the with the releasement to try to do it again. Conley with the ball. Now he will make it switching things over on the ever far side of it again. Under two minutes in overtime. O'Neal firing a three. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Yeah, Rudy Gobert always shows up. He doesn't really want the fall ball from the, from the trap. Bogdanovich. O'Neal with a two. Release big bad carries, and it's another change up here for Dallas. Donkic against Clarkson. With a drive, lead, it's good! Donkic has got a first point lead in overtime in game three. But now he's not done yet. He has much more to get things right on back on the board to stop the players. Now finding over is Gobert. Gobert with the screen, drive, inside, good. Mike Conley ties it again, and Conley has got 14 points. Luka Doncic at 21, and they need to go right back in it. Wow, in around the trap. It's Doncic with a number two. 23 points in the game and 12 in the paint. Bogdanovich passes off to Conley. Conley to tie it, and they're back to back to go insane. 
That was a lot of like a hard move out there. But Jason Kidd wants to call timeout because of all the players, they really have wanted to go back in there again and try to move it around. And with all the player that we couldn't comply the most was was this player that does have it all with the with the team that goes for it all, John Stockton. His play of his average has turned out to be a legendary as he has already has been dominating his effortness. And for this time, he gets a very uh, great play at this point. Indeed it is. Because most of all, all of his players are definitely doing really well, including uh, Carl Malone. They know they had it all down there. And that's what they did here, too. They've done a lot of them. Only two teams have one timeout remaining. Just one more change here as Clarkson will be checking out. Oh, spin move. Oh, gets it back. Rudy Gobert says, that, that's it. I have enough of you showing off. And McDonough steps out of bounds. There's another turnover changes to be caused here for Utah. And that was all that they had that they have already put out in the gap of the line. Now Don gets Conley. Screen. Oh, he gets pushed out of the way. He says, excuse me. Don Kitch, he releases it over two. This really stands out the shock out there. But they really wanted to bring it back into the air again. Bear right back to Conley. Back to Mitchell. Back to Conley. Back and over is McDonovich. Releasing round the two. Good! They have already got done it again. Timeout for the last time on Dallas. Just 11.7 seconds. It is all even up by 70. Wow, Bears like already give a mascot. He wants to sell, sell things down a bit, but not all they had. They really have done a better choice out there than they had ever done before. That's because of them, they've really gotten a lot of huge strength and number of the Jazz to pick up notes. And just like they did here before, Rudy Gobert and Hallie Sly on right side are the best players here on center that already made the block. But I think the turnover could be the next one and be changed up here for Dallas if they are going to try to even it up. What do you think? Not sure if they're going to definitely do that one anyway. But for my uh, personated uh, timing, could be a little bit off the angle out there, but we're not sure who or, who, who or what player can definitely make the average out there. If there's a chance for that, well, we might have it all to be seized out again. No time for Dallas, as right now Jazz will have the ball. With just one more timeout left. Valkic with the ball. Try to work it around, they look for three. Yes! He's got it, and timeout's called by Jazz. Yeah, a lot of breakdown out there. He's left all open. That's a bullet for sure. Now we have last chance here. We're trying to, we're trying to stop the ball and try to work it around a bit. And this is it. If the Jazz don't win the game and they miss the three or gets blocked by the players or air ball, that would that means it will be a win here for for Dallas Mavericks to pick up a 2-1 series of the game. If Dallas doesn't answer, make the three or, or win, and a tie has been released, then we're going to the second overtime. For, for the first time to bring it back on the other hand. Let's see if they can try to make it back again. Will it be make or miss? Here will be the call starting right now. Just gonna be about that too. We gotta see what else can be here. Mitchell for three. Oh my goodness! Coming. Wow! Those teams are definitely on streaking out. 
We are heading to the second overtime for the first time in the postseason of the game. That was like a heavy matchup here. More competitions already put an answer. We'll be right back, folks. Second overtime is up after this. This is like only an extension of the game, and this is almost about to be one hour of this game for the 2K Sports. This is like nobody has ever seen here before. We have never spotted out if anybody can take it from here. That may be a lot of like a hard denials here, friends. And also part of it here in the attendance here too. The fans also knew it that way. Not that better, but they have. The second OT is beginning right now here. It's brought to you by, by Tissit. And the foul is released. It will be on D.Y. Powell. Now it will be their time to hit the free throw line to shoot two. Starting off will be Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert on a drive. He has definitely cost up here with the pace. Pacing up here just a little bit of thrust against the angles out there. And because of on the back, it was D.Y. Powell that already put him up. But now, Rudy Gobert is already quiet alone. I think it's time for those teams to attend the free throw line. He hits one down. Rudy Gobert is definitely uh, like on a champ. He's also noticing how while he gets things and improving during his score. Sometimes the first seed is always better than the other seeds that he they're already ranked in. Good on the double. Rudy Gobert has a uh, number two point average, and they lead up by two. Now Bullock, back, back to Brunson. Right to Vinny Smith, back to Bullock. Conley on the pressure, trying to whip it around. Brunson the lead, that's good. That is good, Bullock make the assist, and they're up by one. Oh, not a great sight at that point, man. That will be another tough shot. Wow, what a turnaround here for Mitchell. And it's Gobert with the assist. 18 points for Mitchell. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to say about this guy, but that's what you need to feel about his player that turned out to be just the best. Timeout called by Dallas with 2.04 remaining here in a, in a second OT. We're just raising up here just a bit on the uh, other angle out there, but that's all they have. Pull them out with another incredible run. Now we got to step back here to make uh, another man to man. Excuse me, excuse me, the man to man section to try to work it around. Take the notes and try to and move up the scale. Scaling is just always that better. And without any other uh, questions out there, most players definitely have it all what they take. After a timeout has been released, it will now be back on the court. Howell in the corner, runs it up. Oh, go bear! Denies it up! That's how you showed it some flex! Oh my goodness, man. That was amazing play out there. Rudy go bear! Two blocks! And that's a three third block of a churn. Bullet for three. Good. That is a back to back threes at the angle. Conley right to Mitchell. And he pulled out of bounds. No foul is given up here for Dallas. And now it turns it over here. Quinn Snyder would have had that call and try to stop them. Dinwiddie with the ball. Releases again. Over Bogdanovich. Rebounded by Gobert. O'Neal, right to Bogdanovich. Double in on him. O'Neal with the ball. Back to Bogdanovich. Fades. Free for Mitchell. Good! That's another three pointer for Mitchell. Back up by one. What a play. 
That's how Yates, this player, gets right wide open. And he's all open. Take it from here. Mitchell almost would have stole it, but it was bad release. Tinnawiddy alone. Rebounded by Gobert. Gobert is receiving another number run of 11 rebounds for tonight. He's going for another hard look. The pressure won't stop him if you're going to try to work it away around a bit. Conley inside. Fades. Try to work it back again. Gobert wasn't ready to take the three. Yeah, that wasn't good enough at all. He was not ready. So he could be staying here for the D all night. Intense D on the rebound. Fighting over it. And another miss by Dallas. That was very intense. All of this happens to here was just no waste of time. Without a walk, they won't have it all pressure. Gobert, back to McDonovich. Shot clock down to five. Conley with a drive, and that's a good inside. And they made a number two pointer for Conley. Timeout called by Dallas. Their last timeout left with 15.1 seconds. It's 82-79 lead in a second OT. Wow, the Jazz are going crazy right now. They're looking for, for a chance to be back here with a second round of the NBA playoffs in the semifinals of the Western Conference. I'm pretty sure that this might be the only time that gets things a lot much better than playing worse on call for the defensive breakdown. Only time will tell if they have it all. And we've all we have been seeing things. This was an amazing matchup out there. With all the status of team comparisons, 79 and 82, 15 for Dallas, 18 for Jazz, 17 for Dallas, 29 for the Jazz. Only two steals, three blocks, and three turnovers for Dallas, but five turnovers on Utah. And now there's no timeout left here for Dallas. Now it will be the Jazz's time to make a decision. For the timeout or go for it. Brunson on Mitchell. Brunson, Benny Smith for three. No good. Again. Bullock for three. Got it! This is getting there tight. And we are almost out of time left here in second OT. This was like a release went out there. Nobody is going to give it off. But this is all it comes down. And this could be a very extensive game here if we go into the third overtime or not. This is like a no questions left being asked out there. This was way that long and nobody has ever done it before without any ever troubled feelings over them to go right into the game. Right now, 3.4 seconds. Will the Jazz make the three, or will the Mavericks deny and go right to the third OT? This may be very tough for them to try to work it around a bit, but they might be very hard. This is a chance for Jazz to take a 3-0 lead if they can try to win. If they don't, then they will have to try again starting with the third OT. The decision starts right now. Well, let's see what happens. This could be very tough out there. You gotta go right away. McDonovich. Three-pointer, make it. And he does it! The game is over! Jazz win! 85-82 to was no luck. And that was your buzz meter by Tissett. Oh, just a fan favorite out there. That was all they had. Conley for the overtime, and then McDonovich with the OT, the second OT win. With the closing gap, it was an amazing game. Let's send you down to David. Thanks very much, Donovan. High execution from the team tonight. Do you think the focus was there collectively? Most definitely. I think, you know, if we don't focus, you know, we might let this game slip away. But for us, it's continuing to plug away. And, and 
you know, we're not at our hundred percent, we're not at our best, but we have a lot more things to improve on. But I focus in on the technical details really to give us the it's like you're building towards something special, man. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. It was an amazing, amazing game this all turned out. With the first of the regulation period, then it was two overtime periods. I don't know what to say about this, but this was like our longest night ever. I know. Talk about that one. It was all that feeling. It's all, it's all that, like, already past our bedtimes already. And this was, like, already been way ahead on now. I'm getting tired right now. Yeah, me too. It was... It was all that night that we had, but all, all of a sudden that you really can't just uh, compare it anyway, but you're not going to have much sleep if you wanted to get from here, so you're going to be uh, uh, sleepwalking like, like you're taking commentators. They don't give it all. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, what a great game this turned out to be. Let's check out the three star players of the game, starting off with number three. Number three always turned out to be just like anybody. It was a great call of Mike Conley making a buzz beater in overtime. And that was the regulation of this game that turned out to be just like that. Anybody can definitely make it through. Not just one player, but does it all. Anybody. That's what we all here for. 18 points, 1 rebounds, 6 assists, and 1 steal. What amazing play this is, guy. Let's take you down to number two, Mephone. Thank you. Number two is Donovan Mitchell. 21 points, one assist, and just a one turnover that brings up. Of course, the foul was already picked up a steal, but it was a failure that turned out to be for the third game. And it was not quite anybody who really has dominated off. That's because of Donovan Mitchell really has shown him off. By the time it gets down to the wire, Luka Doncic would have known that seen that coming. Now, this is all that we had here on number one, Son of Beast. We only have a New Balance player in the game. Yes, that goes out to Luka Doncic. He was already succeeding his points, and that was his run. 25 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists. Just gotten stolen up here in a little, little blockbuster run here right from Donovan Mitchell, and just only one turnover, two dunks was only his time that bring up here with 39 performance run. That was all that it brings up to him. Yeah, I guess that was all on him. Everybody's respecting him from the EuroLeague player. That's all we need to know. And that will do it, folks. The longest game ever turned out to be was just this one. Mm, well, we're not sure about the other games. Well, you'll have to find out here next time for the NBA playoffs for the third game of the season. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching this game. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. If you don't, somebody will. Yeah, you better subscribe right now, or else you will be sent here on an error that brings up here for Son of Beast Error. So you better do it now, or else you will be sorry. If you don't subscribe to him at that point. So, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. We'll see you all here for the next game coming here on Wednesday. That will be the Heat and Nets at Barclays Center since they met in the first season of the NBA of 2K17. Let's bring it all back together for the next game here in the Eastern Conference section. Until next time, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. So good night here and with a, with a loud and wild night in Utah. And with uh, all the players that we all get hydrated next for game four when we return. So that's it. Me and me are gone. See you next time. Somebody.